there my friends. Welcome to Homeschooling with Mrs. Miller. Whether you are joining us as a parent, a teacher, or someone who's just curious, I'm so excited that you're here. Today I want to talk to you about syllable types, the clover syllables. You see, there are six main syllable types. Keep in mind that every syllable must have at least one vowel. So if you have a two syllable word, that word must have at least two vowels. If you have a five syllable word, that word must have at least five vowels. I will go in more detail to explain each of these syllable types in other videos. So when you have an awareness of what the vowel or vowel say in each syllable, it can help children decode, thus read words, enabling them to become better readers. Clover syllables. Number one, knowing the syllable types. Knowing what the vowel or vowels in each syllable type say. Number two, learning. Learning that the vowel or vowels in each syllable type will say different things. And number three, practice, practice, practice. The more practice you engage in, the better you will understand. So when you build a better understanding of each syllable type, you will be more confident in talking about each one. I created this activity a few years ago and have added components along the way. I've used this activity with third graders, with second graders, and with teachers in whom come to classes that I teach. There are so many concepts in the shadows of what you will see, but I find such magic in all of this, I want you to see it as it comes alive. So with no further delay, let's see what Clover 101A has for us today. Here we have 24 syllable cards. 24 syllable cards. These are not words, these are syllables. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these 24 syllables and we're going to put them accordingly under each of the syllable types. The C is for closed. We have the CF, which is a closed family. We have consonant LE, the L. We have O, which is open, syllable. We have the V, which is a vowel teen syllable. We have E, which is a silent E syllable. And we have the R, which is R controlled syllable. So let's take our first one. First one is ath, A T H. We know that this A says it's short sound because it is closed at the end. Ath. We know that this E says it's short sound because it is closed with the X, therefore making this E say eh. Tell. Again, we have one vowel closed at the end. This vowel will say it's short sound eh. Tell. Hind. The IND here is your closed family. The IND being a closed family, just know that closed families have three letters, and those three letters always stay together. And the vowel will say its own thing in the closed family. The DLE, the GLE, and the DLE. These three are called the consonant LE syllable type. These three syllables you will never see, never see as a word by themselves. This will always be at the end of a multi-syllable word. So we have bull, dull, and gull. Again, we have another closed, one vowel closed at the end. The vowel will say it's short sound, end. 
fold. We have another one of those closed families, O-L-D. The O is going to say its own thing in the closed family. Three letters together. E-A. Two vowels together. This is called a vowel team. Mo. M-O. We know this O is going to say its name. O. Because it's open at the end. There's nothing closing it off. So it's going to say O. Mo. Open. Bri, another one. The I is open at the end. The vowel will say its name, I. Leet, this is a silent E syllable. This E at the end is silent, doesn't say anything, but it makes this E say its name. Silent E syllable. Per, now initially this looks like it's closed because there's one vowel. Be careful though, because right after the one vowel is the R. The R is controlling the U. Per, R control. This one also. We have one vowel, but there's an R right after it. This one is an R controlled, par. Four, again, we have one vowel, but there's an R after it. The R is controlling it. This is an R-controlled R syllable. Sue, S-U-E. This is a vowel team. You have U-E together saying one thing. Vowel team. Another vowel team. You have two vowels here. They say one thing. Vowel team. Deuce. This one here is a silent E. This E at the end does not say anything. Pro. Now, I know that this O says O because it's open at the end. There's nothing closing it off. This says pro. B. Vowel team. Two E's together making one sound. Vowel team. This one says B. One vowel open at the end. The vowel is going to say its name, B. Plode. This one is a silent E. This E at the end doesn't say anything, but it gives its power to the O, making the O say its name, Plode. This one, R controlled. E R. Dur. Dur. The R is controlling the E. So, there we have it. Part one to our Clover 101. I hope you join us for part two. Gets more exciting. Thanks for joining us.